Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing right, Jared. I'm doing right. Can't say so much about the rest of uh, Buckeye Nation, but I'm doing right. How about you? Doing good, doing good, doing good. Uh, new tradition, good tradition. Here we go. All right. Now, uh, if, you, if you're here to listen to us talk about Ohio State, I guess we will end up doing that a little bit today. Um, but we're mostly talking about the national focus. If you want to hear us talk about Ohio State, you can, of course, listen to the Monday episode of the show. Um, bad week, Kyle. It's a bad week to have been ranked and read. Bad week to have been ranked and read. Um, Ohio State, Utah, Ole Miss, Oklahoma all fall. Uh, sucks for, I mean, I feel bad for one of those fan bases. But a bad week to be ranked in red. At least Michigan lost. No, they 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 did not lose. They did not play. They didn't. They, they didn't, didn't win. win either. They didn't win. They didn't win. So, um, I don't know, Kyle. Uh, the only true chaos: the bye week beat them. Well, um, the only true chaos, the only uh. Ranked team to lose to an unranked team this week was Utah on Friday night. Saturday was chaos free, uh, despite some very close calls. There were some very close calls, and we'll get into that as the show goes on an individual basis. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and bring up the chaos theory. Well, no, first we're going to do the slew picks. The slew picks where Kyle killed it this week. I did, yes. Kyle. Finally. Finally had a good week. <laughs> all you had to do was pick literally all the home teams, which apparently did, worked yeah. out for you. Yes. Now, you didn't gain a whole lot on me. I went five and two. You went six and one. Um, but you made up a decent amount of ground on the guest pickers. Um, Austin goes three and four. Uh, I was going through the CBS uh, standings, the the picks for the week, and it looks like a lot of a lot of people had some some issues this week. Um, the time zone meta is is playing out to be uh, something. I I I didn't look at everyone else's picks all that closely, to be honest. Time zone meta is start is is, is I I know something Kyle paid attention to, and I know something I paid attention to. Um. I don't know. I'm not I'm not encouraging anyone to real life gamble, but the time zone meta is paying off hard right now. And it happened this weekend too. Uh there was there was teams that that struggled that struggled that went east to west and vice versa too. So I mean we, we saw it with um uh we saw it with Washington. I know they're not ranked, but we saw that Washington right. was a no show to Iowa. <laughs> Yeah, uh, struggled heavily there. Probably the only winner, I guess, so to speak, was um, Penn State. Was Penn State? But they didn't look good in that game. They it, they they underperformed. It's, it's, it's it's better than other teams like Ohio State and Michigan and uh, other teams that I, I didn't win. Okay, if you do from a pure win loss standpoint, but if you do like how bad they missed the the spread, Ohio State was only favored by two and a half. They lost by one. They missed the spread by three points. USC was heavily dogged in that game, mm -hmm. and it was close up until the end. Um, it was so the there there seems to be a few extra points at least so far involved in the east to west west to east transfer um chaos theory scoreboard we all speaking of penn state uh picked penn state to lose and man did we feel smart for a while we did yeah there was only one correct answer this weekend and that was arizona state upsetting utah you yeah picked anybody else you picked anybody else and you got nothing I mean, some of the other games we talked about were also close. 
Um, I was surprised how close how close that Tennessee Florida game was. I think that was a good option. Um, and yeah, that, that that game went to overtime. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, uh, it's I don't know. There, I think there were some good options in collegiate chaos, or excuse me, uh, chaos mm-hmm. theory this week. Uh, just none of them seemed to hit, except except one, which honestly I never even considered Arizona State getting that no. upset. <laughs> no, so, I didn't either. <laughs> that one was never even under consideration for me. Nope, nope. All right, let's let's get into our rankings here because we got some movements. We've got some movements here. So yeah, it's not not nearly. I feel like the last two weeks we've had to do some heavy editing to the board. I don't feel like we have to do a whole lot of heavy editing here. Um, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm not moving Ohio State down. I move Oregon up. Oh hell yes! You have to you you have to move Oregon up. A one hundred percent yes. Um, they started the season slow. They looked sluggish in September in a few games. They figured it out. Uh, they've absolutely figured it out. We started them in S tier. We moved them down when they struggled against Idaho and Boise State. And I don't think we knew at the time how good Boise State was. Um, so how much Oregon was even struggling um, should be reevaluated, although Idaho is terrible. So that was that was just a poor showing yeah. on their part. Um, but yeah, the. Uh, Fantastic. That's a fantastic Oregon team. We might play them two more times this year. We could play them two more times this year. Once in Indy and again in the playoffs. It's it feels almost likely at this point to at least play them one more time. Yeah, I mean, fair fair to say that what we saw last weekend was two of the best three, five teams in the country. I, I would I to me right now, there is no doubt in my mind that the three best teams in the country are Ohio State, Texas and Oregon. I just I have no doubt. Um, maybe Georgia yeah, we, figures it out as the season goes, and, because and they don't look because because Georgia and Alabama don't look very good right now. No, and they. They they. It was it was kind of a close one. Uh, they they won by ten points to a, a one in five Mississippi State team. Yeah, and I know there'll be Georgia. SEC apologists being like, "Oh, but every game in the SEC, da da da." Yeah, the, the Michigan or excuse me, Mississippi State is terrible. It's a terrible yeah. football team. Like, I I I get that. Like Georgia, Georgia was a thirty four point favorite in that game. Yeah. Yeah, and that's upset about that. But looking at looking at what we have here, I Ohio State, Texas, Oregon, top three. Yes, I, I I would agree with that. And then next up here we have Penn State, Georgia, Boise State, BYU, Notre Dame, Miami, Alabama, Tennessee, and Iowa State. Uh, none of these teams lost. A couple of these teams had some close calls though. Now. I will say, like, I'm on as much as it kind of pains me to to mention this, but I I think right there on the A team, right there on the A team, I think A tier. I think in the A tier should be maybe Clemson. The way Clemson's been playing recently, they they're they're one of the hottest teams right now. They're putting up a lot of points on some bad teams. Okay, like, as they should, as they should, as they should. Uh, we, 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 and we and we've seen teams like Alabama and Georgia that haven't done that. They haven't taken care of business. That hasn't um blown away teams. And Clemson had that that loss, and has looked really good since. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, they'll they'll roll through a crappy. ACC, do do they do they play Miami in the regular season? Is that on the is that on the schedule for them? Do you know off the top of your head? Can you I look it up know quickly? Off the top of my head, I will look it up. Kyle, look it up real quick. Clemson schedule they do not. Play Interesting. Miami. They they will play them. They if 
what it looks like it's going to happen, it it'll be Miami and Clemson in the the ACC championship. Yeah, I mean Miami's undefeated, Clemson's undefeated in conference, so they're mm-hmm. both. There's- for the sake of there's the four, conference championship game, they're both undefeated. There's four undefeated teams in the ACC right now. Clemson, Miami, Pittsburgh, and SMU. Only Miami and Pittsburgh are undefeated. Both Clemson and, and SMU have one loss. Right. And, like, Pitt's been fun to watch, but they're not going to they're not gonna make it as far as going undefeated. Um mm-hmm. SMU, I, I don't know. I'd look. I'd look at their schedule before I make any sort of. But like SMU is a again, they're a fun team. I don't see them making it through the entire thing. Um, again, I, not knowing either of those teams' schedules by heart by any means. But Kyle, if we're talking about moving a team from B tier up to A tier, LSU just got a big win this weekend. And no, I don't really like LSU that much either. I think they're a very flawed football team. And I think that they beat Ole Miss, who is, well, I know that they beat Ole Miss, but I think Ole Miss is also a very flawed football team. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, yeah. Th- yeah. LSU, yeah, LSU and Clemson, yeah, definitely two teams there. I'm almost. But we have, we again, so for anyone who's not uh, super familiar with what we do here, S the S tier and the A tier have to total 12 teams. Th- this is our playoff prediction. Essentially, it has to be 12 teams. There has to be an ACC representative. There has to be a big 12 representative. There's obviously big 10 and SEC representation. That's going to happen naturally. And there also needs to be a group of five representative. So my, my, my we, have, we do have two big 12s in there right now. We we can't drop out Miami unless we replace them with Clemson. Mm-hmm. We I'm, could I'm, drop out one of the two Big Twelve teams. We can't drop out Boise. There's one team you didn't mention. I think you could drop out Tennessee, Notre Dame. What has Notre Dame done wrong? What have they done right? Well, I mean, if you're going to listen, your whole oh, Clemson has actually looked really good recently, beating up on mm-hmm. some crappy teams. I after, you know, both teams lost a an early game. Both teams have been beating up on some crappy teams since now. Granted, Notre Dame's loss uh, is considerably more embarrassing of a loss. So if you if you try to compare if you try to compare the two there, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull both of them up real real quick here. Like what's what are the resumes here? Uh, LSU's losses seven points to USC, which that USC loss is starting to look worse and worse. Fair as uh, USC is now three and three. And their best win was just this weekend against Ole Miss. Now looking at Notre Dame, their best win is Louisville, which is not a mark? which is not a win that is looking better as as things go. Um, yeah, uh, there are a lot of imperfect teams. There, there are yes, and and I and I think that's one thing that Zach everybody says, needs to understand. Zach says drop Bama, damn it! Is that there's there is a lot of there's a lot of teams that have a lot of flaws. Yeah, minus Texas. I think Texas is overall just number one from what we've seen so far this year. Like Texas, Texas looks like the most well-rounded team in college football this year. Uh, obviously, we saw what Oregon can do offensively. Defensively, we we saw like. That there, there's flaws with Oregon. Same thing with Ohio State. Uh, we saw there's a lot of flaws that we covered on Monday's episode. Um, and you, you can go through all the other ones. Penn State offense has issues. Georgia's very inconsistent. Uh, Alabama's inconsistent. Tennessee's in- inconsistent. You could go on and on and on about this too. There's yeah. every team has flaws. Yeah. And for what it's worth, like, 
I think I think Texas has some flaws too. Like I, it, they're they're not perfect by any means. Um, yours can be very streaky, and they haven't played an offense yet to test them. So it's easy to look at Ohio State or Oregon's defense and say, "Oh man, there's some flaws there," because they just played each other and they both have amazing offenses. And Texas has played some good teams, don't get me wrong. They have played good teams. They haven't played a good offense yet, though. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't want to say, like, Texas hasn't been tested yet. Because they have. They've played some really good teams. (laughs) They're going to this weekend. They're going to this weekend. (laughs) We're going to find a lot out. Both, about both of these teams, Texas and Georgia, this weekend, but we're not going to talk about that now. We're talking. We're we're yeah yeah ra- ra- rating the teams here. So, do you feel, Jared, that we should move anybody between A and B tiers here? You could absolutely make the case that either LSU or Clemson should move up, mm-hmm. and you could quite frankly make a case. Uh, Zach's making the case in the chat right now that Bama should be dropped. Uh, You know, they lost to Vanderbilt. They got into a slugfest with South Carolina. I think Vanderbilt's a lot better than people are giving them, giving them credit for. Um, So I, I don't, I don't knock them that hard, quite frankly. Um, It's Vanderbilt, Jed. Yes, yeah, I know. That's what everyone says. It's Vanderbilt. It's Vanderbilt. It's Vanderbilt. Okay, Vanderbilt's a hell of a lot better, and I mean a hell of a lot better than Mississippi State. Like, just so we're clear. Mississippi State is the Vanderbilt of the SEC this year. All right, so I I guess we're not moving anybody then? I mean, I'm not against it, but... Like, we could drop, say, Iowa State, and and we could drop Notre Dame. Um, I wouldn't be totally against that to move up LSU and Clemson. I'm not. I'm neither for or against that. So I'll let you. I'll let you make the call. So let's let's look let's look at Iowa excuse me Iowa State here. So what what have they what have they done here? They're they're undefeated. Yep. Uh their best win is against Iowa. Mm-hmm. Um which I guess is a it's a it's an okay one. It's a, it's an okay one there. Sure. And we went over Notre Dame's here already. Gosh, I'm I I can't drop Iowa State because they are undefeated right now. Uh, one of the few undefeated teams left here. Like it's hard for me to put down Iowa State here. If anybody, I would say maybe Notre Dame, but I'm I'm not convinced to to move anybody this weekend here. So maybe, maybe we just keep it as is. All right, we can I, just. I, I feel I feel next next weekend we're I, I feel next weekend it's going to be a lot of moving around. Yeah, there'll be some blood on the field next weekend. Um, all right, fair enough. All right, let's let's talk right. a little bit more detail about B tier. But before we do that, uh, let's do a quick ad break. Uh, we are the Buckeye Sloopcast. Um, you can find all of our stuff at the Sloopcast dot com. Uh, just all of our. I'm about to mention a lot of different links, and it's it quite frankly might come across as a lot. And you're like, I Jared, I don't, I didn't hear all those links you just said. You can just go to the sloopcast.com and, and find all the links I'm about to say, but uh, you can support us financially by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com. You can come to our, uh, you know, Ohio state community uh, at discord.thesloopcast.com. You can watch all of our YouTube videos on youtube.thesloopcast.com. You can listen to the audio versions of the show on Spotify Apple Podcasts, anywhere you can find podcasts, you can find us. If you're looking for like a manual RSS feed to plug in for the podcast, it is rss.thesloopcast.com. We have two separate merch stores, one that's actually a Sloopcast merch store, one that's just more like 
general Ohio merchandise. Uh, the merch store is merch.thesloopguys.com. The Ohio store is 7071, all numerical, 7071.thesloopcast.com. And yeah, and um, here here comes some uh, ad breaks. If you want to avoid these ad breaks, you can get a ad free version of the show at patreon.thesloopcast.com for as little as $3 a month. Uh, here are those ads now. Donate to Jared's pers personal cash app. I do not have a cash app account. For the record. <laughs> if anyone out there has a Sloopcast cash app account, it is not us. That is and not us. Um... All right, Kyle, let's talk a little bit about B tier, probably for the best. Uh, yeah, you can actually get really screwed over on stuff like that because of like chargebacks and whatnot. That's why we use Patreon. Um, yeah, let's talk about B tier. Do you just want to maybe roll through some of these games and, and see what we determine? Sure. Um, when do you want to start? Huh, I'll just roll through some top 25s here. Clemson demolishes Wake Forest. We already talked about potentially moving Clemson up. We didn't do it, but they obviously aren't going to go down. Um, Missouri uh, destroyed UMass. UMass is terrible. The most surprising thing that happened in this game is that Missouri actually traveled to Massachusetts to play, which... Doesn't feel right. Georgia Tech defeated a struggling North Carolina team. Uh, I don't think we have either of those teams in B tier. Um, Alabama, we're not moving Alabama down, but Alabama had a barn burner against a mediocre South Carolina team. Um, only wins that game by two points. Something to follow. Kyle, Army. Army is in our A tier. They just Army strong. destroyed UAB. Army strong, Army smash. And they smashed UAB. What what room are they, Jared? <laughs> oh yeah. They they are in the sloop cast rules of teams you should rule never play. Yeah. Rule number four. Who who else in rule number four again? Can you read that off for us? Sloop cast rule play, number four. Don't play Appy. Bison, Army, Navy. We, we need to change this because or night games in the Big Ten West. Oh, <laughs> rip the Big Ten West. <laughs> should should it be don't don't play night games outside of the Eastern Standard Time Zone? Is that what it should be now? Yeah, don't don't play don't play night games on the West Coast. Just yeah, just don't don't play night games outside your time zone. Um. Iowa crushes Washington. We already talked about that. Kyle Rutgers. Rutgers was a team. If you zoom back to last week's collegiate chaos, um, we talked about Rutgers as potentially a team that could move up to B tier. Well, they got yeah. That that's not happening. Uh, they yeah. they took their second straight loss this weekend got blown out by Wisconsin. Yeah, it was not not even close. Rutgers got ex got exposed here. I saw the final score, We're, but this is the first time I'm looking at the stats here. Yeah, it could have been worse. Quarter, Rutgers quarterback was 12 for 32. Yeah, passing. Oof. Yeah, it, it was it was bad. Is Wisconsin is is Luke Fickle finally putting stuff together at Wisconsin? I know they had a not great start to the year. Uh, I mean, they they struggled against Western Michigan. They struggled against South Dakota. Got blown out by Alabama. They lost by 17 to USC. Um, and then they handled um, convincingly to Purdue and Rutgers here. So I'm going to say don't yeah. pump the brakes. Yeah. Pump yeah. the brakes here. Yeah. Uh, we'll, f we'll, find, we'll find out by the end of end of this month here um not this weekend when they play northwestern but the last game of october when they host uh, penn state mm. 
Hmm. Keep an eye on that game. Pittsburgh yeah. struggles, uh, but wins against California. This was they stay undefeated. For the record, this was in Pittsburgh. So no excuses mm-hmm. on that West Coast travel, Panthers. Um, but yeah, a struggling California team, an undefeated Pittsburgh team finished this game 15 to 17. Oof. Yeah. Uh I, I you were not gonna drop Pitt to to C tier over it, but it's worth noting. Uh Louisville and Virginia, two teams we have over to the left side on C tier, played each other. Uh Louisville wins by four points, 24 to 20. Um, I'm not I I don't think I want to move Louisville up to B tier over that. No. No. Okay. We we agree. Uh Penn State struggles against USC. Penn State moves on to six and oh. USC drops to three and three. I think we can but. take USC out of this out of this spot and just put them back here with everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I mean, we, we mentioned about teams struggling out of their time zone. I mean, yes, Penn State was heavily favored, but they they got the W. And it's yep. that's saying more than than other teams right but they missed the vegas line worse than ohio state did but I'm, ultimately I'm gonna, what matters gonna, is, that, is that win column though but they played worse based off of expectation okay we always knew ohio state and oregon were going to be kind of a kind of a toss-up game we always knew it was going to be kind of a 50 50 ball game Notre Dame, Notre Dame takes care of business over Stanford. Uh, BYU takes care of business over Arizona. Yeah, I thought, that would, been, I thought that one would have been a little bit closer. Yeah, good, good on BYU. I mean, notice when I was talking about teams we could be moving around, like out of A tier. I never mentioned BYU, and it's not simply because, and and it's not because they're a Big Twelve team, and we need a Big Twelve team. No, we also have Iowa State in A tier right now. We have two Big 12 teams in, in A tier. If I thought BYU was worth talking about dropping, I would have. I didn't for a reason. They yeah. destroyed Arizona. Um, Illinois, Kyle, has a has a close one against Purdue. You know, maybe maybe we can tap the brakes on all that Illinois hype. Um they're, they're I'm not, still five and one. They're still, they're five, still and five and one. one and, I'm not gonna control control their own destiny. I'm not going to I'm not going to drop them out of B tier over it, but that's a you you let one in five Purdue score 49 points against you and take it to overtime. Um, Purdue, by the way, went for it. Uh, they both got touchdowns in overtime and Purdue said, screw it. We're going for two. Yep. Uh, yep. Obviously, they didn't get it, but, you know, one mm-hmm. play away, one play away. Uh, Iowa State, I know mentioned Iowa State earlier, uh, beat West Virginia 28-16. But Virginia, West Virginia has been one of those tough teams that's been kind of tough to play this year. Uh, don't don't let that record 3-3 three and three fool you. Like West Virginia really, really uh, gets out of teams and makes makes them closer than they really should be. Yeah, it's, they're almost like, uh, like Nebraska, Nebraska a couple of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> they're not winning their games, but they're keeping them close. Mm. Get on the Mountaineers for that. At least uh, Texas rolled Oklahoma. Um, it, it looked like maybe it was going to be a defensive game mm. at first. Ewers so, coming back from an injury didn't look great at first, but after a few drives, he figured it out. And then Texas rolled. Yep. Uh, we mentioned LSU earlier, LSU, Beating Ole Miss in overtime, twenty nine to twenty six. I think we can move Ole Miss down to C tier. Yeah, um, we haven't talked about Utah yet, right? Not yet, but we, we can talk about them next year. All right. But yeah. Well, Ole, Ole Miss, Ole Miss struggling um, these past few weeks here. Uh, obviously, with the loss here, struggled with South Carolina and that loss to Kentucky the week before that. Yeah, they. Not looking as great as they were when they played Furman, 
and NTSU. <laughs> Shade. Yeah. Um, and Utah. Utah losing to Arizona State, the only ranked team to lose to an unranked team this this weekend here. Yeah. So, yeah, I that, that's tough to come back here for Utah. I, I'd put Utah down to C tier as well. I'm not going to fight you on it. Mm-hmm. And I, I see you have like Virginia off to the left of C tier. Well, I had I had them there after last week's episode because Louisville was playing Virginia. OK. Um, and I just never close game. and I just never was a close back. game. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was, was kind of like, game. hey, these two teams are playing each other. Maybe one of them will move up to B tier. Maybe we can still have that conversation about Louisville after we drop some teams out of B tier. Maybe we won't. Um yeah. I mean, Virginia, Virginia had the lead going in like halfway in the, in the fourth quarter there, but, but yeah, then Louisville, Louisville got that late, late, uh, touchdown to, to seal it theirs, but, uh, Georgia struggles mm-hmm. against Mississippi state, um, uh, mm-hmm. only score, uh, excuse me. They scored plenty of points, but they allowed Mississippi state to score 31 against them. Um, and, like Kyle pointed out earlier, Georgia's favored by, would you say 36 in this game? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. 32, 36, something like Some, that. Yeah. Uh, let's say 32. You know, this, this is a really poor showing from Georgia. Kyle, my early read on things is that Texas is, I'm 34. not saying they're going to smash Georgia, but I think it's not going to be close. Like, I don't think it's going to come down to the last mm-hmm. drive. It may not be a total bludgeoning. But well, t- tune into Friday's episode when we cover this game. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. All right. Um, Boise State. I, w- I know we we haven't talked about Boise State, but Boise State um, beat Hawaii 28 to 7. It, it's a OK, not not a great, not a great score against a not a great Hawaii team here, but it's whatever i guess yeah that's they didn't do anything to impress they didn't do anything they didn't do anything to impress they didn't do anything to um make them look bad it's just all right you could have been you could have done better but yeah um yeah tennessee florida go to overtime tennessee pulls it out that that was surprising i I thought tennessee would have ran away with that Eh, you i think you're higher on tennessee than i am um, yeah, they, they've been they've been struggling recently. You see a lot of these top SEC teams um, the beginning of the week here or week beginning of the year where they're really hyping up Tennessee and LSU and and Missouri and other teams. And they've they've kind of fallen flat. They've fallen flat recently here. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, here's here's a crazy question for you. Oh, um, also, you, we can move Oklahoma down to C tier as well. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, for sure. I forgot to include them so, in that. In B in B tier, uh, for those that's not listening, so B tier, we have LSU, Clemson, Liberty, Kansas State, um, which they did beat Colorado. I, I guess because they're they're still in the mix for the Big Twelve, it makes sense for them to stay in the B tier. Nebraska, Indiana, and Illinois. Who saw that coming? Uh, Texas A and M. What did Texas A and M do this weekend? I I did not see. Uh, did Texas A and M even play this weekend? I don't think so. I don't. I, I, I do don't, not see anything no. there. So I. Uh, Colorado with Colorado down to C tier. Uh, they they lost to at home to Kansas State here. All right. Um, then we have Missouri, uh, Missouri lost, didn't they? No, no, no. They crushed. I mean, they, uh, they, they had right. a moral, right. yeah. they had a moral loss in that they traveled to Massachusetts. That's right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. It, yeah Missouri, Missouri is interesting here because they don't really have a, they don't have a, a win. They don't have a win at all. Their best win is uh, Vanderbilt. <laughs> Their best wins Vanderbilt, Jared. Uh, honestly, that's not <laughs> that's not that bad of a 
a mark at this point. Vanderbilt's only lost two games. Yeah, they, they won by three. It was a 30 to 27 game in overtime. I've been trying to tell people Vanderbilt's not actually a bad team. Yeah. I've been trying to tell people this. Right. Other, and, and then the other teams we have here, SMU, because Big 12, Army and Navy, still undefeated here. Yep. And Pitt. And you have Texas Tech in here. I, I did not pay attention to Texas Tech. Yeah, we moved Texas Tech up late last week. Uh, someone in chat convinced us to do it. They are undefeated in that, you know, in in the Big 12, you know, we do need to keep a close eye on. Yep. And, and they were, they were, yeah, you're, you're right. They are, they are undefeated. The three teams left that are in conference undefeated and in the Big 12, BYU, Iowa State, and Texas Tech. Yeah. Uh, on a bye week this week. And they uh, will host B Baylor this weekend here. So I guess Texas Tech stays there. A lot of, a lot of Big 12 teams that kind of hang around there, B tier. But I think here in about three weeks, I think we'll see a lot of, a lot of movements around with the Big 12. May have just moved right, any, Vanderbilt any, over into, into the far left section of C tier. I may or may not what? have done that just now. So is there anybody <laughs> that you're seeing, Jared, that's worth trying to move up? Trying to move up. I mean, we could, we're not going to, but we could have a conversation about Vanderbilt. We're not going to. Um, and honestly, beyond that, I don't know who else. I mean, Kyle, can we at least have a conversation about Arizona State? Gosh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> I think I think well, let's let's pull up Arizona State's um, resume here. They they got the they do have that win against Utah uh, last Friday night there, twenty seven to nineteen. Uh, the rest of their schedule here, uh, they beat a really bad Mississippi State. Uh, they, they lost to Texas Tech which was their only loss in conference. And they recently beat Kansas and Utah. Um, I, I would say move them over slightly over to on the far side of C tier. Not quite ready to move them up to B tier yet, but I think that's fair. I think that's yeah. fair. And the only reason I think the only reason we have Kansas state up in B tier, because both Kansas state and Arizona state have the same record. Two and one in conference, five and one. I just think Kansas State overall has just been a. I think they've just been a better team. Uh, at, from from what we from what we've seen so far here. I mean, do we want to pull them up side by side? Yeah, I, I I'd rather not right now. It's <laughs> it's not worth getting into. I I think maybe it is. All right, fine. So Arizona Kansas State, State Arizona State crushes Wyoming. Uh mm -hmm. a relatively close win over Mississippi State, a relatively close win over Texas State. Um a one score loss to Texas Tech, a close win over Kansas, and a you, a, you know, a touchdown and a two-point conversion win over Utah. Kansas State uh, crushes UT Martin, beats Tulane by a score, crushes Arizona, uh, gets crushed by BYU, crushes Oklahoma State, and has a victory over Colorado. Kansas State has the better resume. I, I, I will acknowledge that if we look at the wins. We look at the losses, though. They, they got demolished by BYU. Agreed. So one team has better wins. The other team has a much more excusable loss. If you're Kansas State, you want you want every from what we're seeing here. If you're Kansas State, you want to have every game a home game here. Which yeah they, yeah yeah. They're going on the road to West Virginia this weekend. Oh boy, Kansas State is <laughs> Mountain Mama. 
uh, that, that maybe they may be a um, a uh, a pick there for any for somebody there. Not not a lot of points, but it's 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 it's, it's points. Kyle, we need to talk about if anyone deserves to be moved into uh, M tier, and then we might do a quick look at next week's schedule. But before sure. we do that, uh, let's take a quick ad break. And this is the super quick ad. This is the second ad break. This is super quick. I already told you about all the things. Find us on Spotify. Find us on YouTube. Find us on Apple Podcasts. Find us in whatever podcast app you have. Search Sloopcast. You'll find us. If you can't find us, rss.sloopcast.com into the custom feed. We'll be right there. Uh, and if you need any of these addresses read back to you, you can find them at thesloopcast.com. But if I can ask one thing of you, if I can ask one thing of you, it's to join our Discord community, discord.sloopcast.com. Uh, here are those ads that you can avoid by going to patreon.sloopcast.com now. Went to the wrong window again. I'm very good at going to the wrong window. Um, M tier. Anyone make the case for anyone to move to M tier? We just going to toss this out there. USC. I think we're supposed to be players in the Big Ten this year. Um, they have lost all all of their Big Ten games. Is that right? Is is that is that correct? I know they've lost three Big Ten games already. Yep. They have they have a victory over Wisconsin. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. But they're one and three in the Big Ten. What's what's holding them together is that it's that week one, week one uh, versus LSU. That that was in California, right? Um, I thought that was a neutral. Yeah, but it was a neutral on the West. What was that in in Las Vegas? Vegas? Yeah, that was in Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay, it's still, still the three hour. Well, no. Louisiana would it would only be two hours for Louisiana, right? Um, they're yeah, they're central time zone. Uh, the uh, but still, it's still the a still Pacific time zone. I mean, saying Las Vegas isn't a home game for Los Angeles is like saying Atlanta isn't a home game for Georgia. Quite frankly, um, but. Yeah, maybe maybe not yet on on USC. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know if there's any good M tier candidates right now. Honestly, if they lose one more. They lose one more. I I'd say yes for the M tier. They they should. They should be able to. I mean, they have a reasonably favorable schedule the rest of the rest of the uh, year. They travel to maryland which that's going to be difficult well yeah i mean the travel will be difficult the tra- the maryland's travel. the travel the travel will be difficult uh, what time is that game hope, what time is that game does it say yet? uh uh 4 p.m that's not it's not terrible it's not terrible no and then and then following weekend they host rutgers so it's kind of funny that they're yeah yeah, so they host Rutgers. That's at 11 p.m. kickoff. No. They're making... 11 p.m. They're making Rutgers play at 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. on Fox. That's the... Sc- the Big Ten scheduling needs to get their head out of their ass. After what just happened to Washington mm-hmm. and what's about to happen to Rutgers, mm-hmm. you can't do yep, that. And then... It- and then USC then goes to Washington, hosts Nebraska, plays UCLA, and then hosts Notre Dame. But I guess yeah. they have, they have a reasonable they have a reasonable rest of the rest of the uh, uh, schedule here. But yeah, that three that three losses, I can they they cannot be put back into B tier. Like they don't have any marquee no. wins here. No, 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 Kyle, except we're talking Notre, about M tier, not B tier. Okay, for if they lose any of their next five games, yeah, yes, we'll have that conversation. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't I'm not I seeing any M tier candidates. 
and anybody else that has high expectations but not not doing well i mean no. not yet but we could start having that conversation about Ole Miss soon. Yeah, we could. Um, we could. Not yet, though. Not yet. But maybe soon, but not yet. Right. Um, after Illinois crushes the hell out of Michigan next week, ooh, we might mm-hmm. be moving that Michigan down to M tier. A tier so Michigan, it's named after them. <laughs> Want to see week eight here? Want to see let's see. Week let's, eight see let's see week eight. Friday night. Now, I know Purdue's not good. No. I know Purdue's not good. Jared. Nope. They are not. It's a, it's a Friday night. Yeah. Short week. I hear you. Oregon heading over to Purdue on a Friday night game. I'm just saying, I totally expect Oregon to win. Totally expect that, but. Could be interesting that in that first half. Don't be surprised that that game would would be close there. Just saying. Hmm. Uh, Keep an eye on that one. My Miami and Louisville play. I mean Louisville play. That 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 could just cause some. That could just cause some chaos. Nebraska and that, Indiana. That, that that that's an early chaos theory mm. yes yes uh nebraska indiana is another chaos theory uh they should both be ranked nebraska is not ranked nebraska is not ranked no they are five and one and not ranked okay but who, who what's their biggest win no no no. i'm just call it yeah yeah um I mean, I mean, if Nebraska was in the SEC, they'd be they'd be ranked right now. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm looking, looking Alabama Tennessee play. Alabama Tennessee, God, uh, we will learn nothing from that game. <laughs> Michigan and Illinois, Michigan and Illinois. Yeah, I'm all about the oh, Michigan. That, that, game, game. that game, that game has swapped. Michigan is now a one point favorite in that game. Wasn't Illinois favored by like two touchdowns last week? One bad Uh-oh. game against Purdue and they're, they're willing to throw Illinois out with the bathwater. I guess. Come on. I now. guess. Come on now. Uh, wow. The, the three thirty slot games suck. Jared. Yeah, no Ohio State this week. If for in no case Ohio there's State anyone watching week. us that doesn't know that um, night games, uh, night games is going to be some good ones. Georgia Texas um, is the prime guy, prime time game. Uh, mentioned Kansas State and Virginia Tech. I think that I think that would be a really good game. Mm, um, maybe. I think that's it. Well, the reason why that might be a good game is because Kansas State's playing outside of Manhattan, Kansas. Yes, that's why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another 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 chaos theory pick. Yeah, so there, there's about three three maybe four four games here that can possibly pick here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teams on on a bye bye week this week. Yeah, might be a lackluster college football Saturday, but whenever we say that. We're always mm-hmm. wrong. Like we thought this week was going to be great. And we got one chaos pick. You just never know. You just never know. Yep. All right, Kyle. Um, any other games you want to highlight or we move into the end of the show? Uh, no, I think that was it. I was looking, I was looking at when we actually finally get some maxion weekday maxion, but that's not I, for a few more weeks. I, I really, I thought that would be starting by now. I thought so too. Because I'm I'm looking right now. There there's a lot of games like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but they're not the Mac. Yeah, it's it's Troy, it's UTEP, it's Sun Belt, Georgia State. Yeah, Sun Belt. Sun, 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 Sun Belts are take taking those. Uh, nothing in Week Nine, Week Ten. Uh, more games being played Tuesday for some reason, and here we are, Week Eleven. Uh, Tuesday, November 5th, we get some action. 
too late in the season. I need my action now. Anyway, uh-huh. Kyle, that would be the end of the show. Um, do you have anything in Kyle's corner that doesn't involve the Mac? Um, you're allowed to say no. <laughs> no, I, okay. I actually haven't. I, I, I haven't looked to see uh, if there was any injury update with, with Simon. I know that we talked about it briefly in um, Monday's episode, but um, yeah, I think, I think being a day later, you mean Simmons? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anything, I don't think anything has come out, but they, they totally expect, expect him to miss the rest of the season. Yeah. Honestly, people are real worried about, we can talk about Ohio state again for a moment. People are real worried about Ohio state losing to Oregon. I'm not the biggest loss in that game. Isn't the loss column. It's Josh Simmons. Yep. Yes. Um, it, it, ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me the question. I'll ask you the question. How about that? All right. Would you take the win column? If it meant. No, it doesn't work. We, we lost Simmons in the game. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. I thought I had, I thought I had a clever thing to say there, but it, it fell apart at the end. Well, I guess it means it's time to end the show. Um, Tonight's ending music brought to you by a Columbus based band called Super Destroyer, which is one word. No, no space in there. Super Destroyer. Uh, So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Super Destroyer.